Spiritual warfare is a battle between God's people and Satan. Satan is our enemy who is known as the devil because he is enemy to God and God's people. Satan is committed to preventing people from knowing God and trusting him with their lives. The Bible teaches that three forces are battling with God for ownership of our hearts, the world, the flesh, and the devil. Thankfully, God is stronger than all of them. 1 John 2 verse 16, the Bible says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of this world. Our battles are sourced in the spiritual realm, not in the physical realm. If you are focused on the physical realm, then you will not get to the root of the problem causing your battles. The process of spiritual victory will begin when we understand that we have an enemy we cannot see. Our prayer lives are crucial, and prayer should saturate our everyday lives. We should pray at all times, about everything, in every situation. The Holy Spirit is essential to our prayers and the impact we want to have in the spiritual realm. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 10, the Bible says, For to us God revealed them through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, even the depths of God. Ephesians 6 verse 18, the Bible says, With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the Spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. There is no need to fear when you lean on God's promises written in scriptures. There is no need to focus on the problem, the enemy, or your flaws. God is with you everywhere you go. Satan wants you to fear and do things from the pain in your heart. If you believe you are engaged in spiritual warfare, or if you are just looking for protection from it, there is nothing more powerful than God's words and calling on the authority of Jesus Christ through prayer. Ephesians 6 verse 12 tells us, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 to 4 tells us, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. Tonight we are going to pray a powerful prayer against spiritual warfare. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray this prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I bound and bring to no effect all division, all discord, all disunity, any strife, anger, any wrath, any criticism, condemnation, any pride, any envy or jealousy, any gossip, any slanders, complaining, any lying, false teaching, false gifts, false manifestation, lying signs and wonders, Poverty, fear of lack, fear, murmuring spirits, deceiving spirit, and spirit of Antichrist. These are all bound in me, my family, and church family. I bind all curses that have been broken against us. I bind the power of negative words and curses, and I bind and render useless all prayers not inspired by the Holy Spirit. I bless those who curse me and pray blessing on those who despitefully use me. I confess that I am a child of God, that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am God's property. I confess the Holy Spirit guides and leads me. I do hear God's voice as Jesus says in John 10 verse 27. I can discern between what is righteous and wicked. I have authority over Satan and demons through Christ. I declare Satan is under my feet tonight. I bind Satan from my family, my mind, my body, my home, my church, and my finances. I confess I am healed and whole. I flourish. I am stable, fruitful, full of peace, full of patience and love. Whatever I set my hands to shall prosper, for God supplies my every need. God, I pray for the ministries you have for me to be revealed and matured. Anoint me for all that you have called me to do for you. I call forth divine appointments tonight, open doors of opportunities, God ordained encounters, ministry opportunities, and ministry positions tonight in Jesus' name. I will use my life in God giving abilities for your glory and honor. I claim a fence of protection around myself, my spouse, and my children day and night. I ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, to dispatch angels to surround me, my spouse, and my children 
today and to put them through my home, my cars, and my properties. I ask that angels protect my home from any intrusions and to protect me and my family from any harmful demonic, physical, or mental attacks. I declare by faith that revival is sweeping through me and my family, my church, and nations. I will allow it to bring about the necessary changes in me tonight. I am open to correction, repentance, obedience, and brokenness in a deeper walk with God. I deeply desire a more powerful prayer life and a greater intimacy with the Lord. I decree and declare that the eyes of my spirit function with 2020 vision for correct understanding and interpretation of divine movements. My ears are in tune with the correct frequency of the spirit and I have clear understanding. I decree that this day I operate according to God's divine timetable. I decree that God's agenda is my agenda. I am not my own. I have been bought with a price. I therefore submit myself to him alone. Father, overthrow the plans of troublemakers, of scoffers, mockers, liars, deceivers, prosecutors, and characters assassins. Expose satanic representative and grant me divine strategy and tactic to identify resist and overcome plots and plans established for me. I implore the host of heaven to war against the host of darkness. I take command over and bring to a halt all further demonic movement and satanic activities from the underworld and its region. I overrule and overthrow according to Isaiah 54:17 in all ill-spoken words, all wishes, enchantments, divination, spells, hex, curses, witchcraft prayers, every idle word spoken contrary to God's original plans and purposes for me. I reverse the curse associated with this utterance and decree and declare that they shall not stand. They shall not come to pass, nor take root. I declare that every lying tongue is wrong and that truth prevails. I come against falsehood, slanders, accusation, misrepresentation, and character assassination. I will lose no ground or territory gained through their undermining efforts or initiatives. I prohibit the accuser of the brethren from operating or influencing the soul or mind of anyone who comes into contact with me. I reverse the effect of any stigmas and declare that divine favor, grace, honor, and well wishes now replace any all negative feelings, perceptions, and thoughts concerning myself, my family, my work, my ministry which I am called to accomplish. Confound the omens of liars, astrologers, psychic, sorcerers, make fools of diviners, and make their dark knowledge foolishness. I rebuke and dismantle satanic alliance and arrest them by your spirit. Let every covert and clandestine effort and endeavor fail tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, release divine virus to invade satanic database and command that they consume and destroy. Let all future diabolic communications and network fail tonight. Father, arrest those that are operating in the spirit of Jezebel. Let them not resist the anointing, authority, or gain any ground in the natural or in the realm of the spirit. Now, Father, you have given me great destiny to accomplish for you. Everything prepared for me before the foundation of the world that pertains to my life, my ministry and calling, come to me now in the name of Jesus. I shall not accept substitute tonight. I call in resources from the north, south, east, and west. I decree and declare that every resource necessary for me to fulfill God's original plans and purpose comes to me without delay now in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that the wealth of the wicked be released now and any curses upon that wealth be removed. I commend Satan to cough it up, spit it out, loose it, release it, and let it go. Grant to me according to your riches in glory, the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places. I declare that the Cyrus and nothing flow in my life. I decree that I will increase and prosper in the land where I am sent as an ambassador of God. As his official representative, all diplomatic rights, privilege, respect, and honors are extended to me in his name and grace. Truth, goodness, and mercy are my bodyguards. I decree and declare that the kingdom of heaven rules and reigns. I decree and declare that this prayer and all future prayers take on the characteristic of divine projectiles in the realm of the spirit and that they hit the bull's eyes. I overcome the devil through the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed out of the hand of the devil through the blood of Jesus. All my sins are forgiving. 
The blood of Jesus, God's sons, continually cleanse me from all sins. Through the blood of Jesus, I am justified, made righteous, just as if I have never sinned. Through the blood of Jesus, I am sanctified, made holy, set apart to God. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Satan ultimately has no power over me through the blood of Jesus and the word of God. The words of my mouth are words that are creative and bring life to all who hear them. He has anointed me to heal the brokenhearted and set the captives free. I am more than a conqueror by the word of my testimony and the blood of the Lamb. I am anointed. I am a chosen one. I am a general in the highest ranking in the Lord's army. When I pray, demons tremble, for I am pure terror and dread to the enemy's camp. Demonic spirits runs and flee as I approach. I am the walking, talking word of God in human form. The resurrection power of Christ resides within me. Signs and wonder follows me, and I will do great works than these because Jesus said I could and I will. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart for all men. God's love for me is unconditional. God is continually pouring out favor and blessing upon my life and the lives of my family members tonight. We live in the prosperity and wisdom of God gave to Solomon, the freedom and favor of David, and the fate of Abraham, our forefather. Goodness and mercy follows as the angels of the Lord protect and encourage us at every turn. We hear the voice of the Lord, divine appointments, friendships, business opportunities, ministry connections, Mentors and higher level of wisdom, revelation and understanding come to us. Finances and resources flow to us without interruption. They flow like the river of God. We remove every ungodly blockage from receiving what the Lord is wanting to deliver to us. My family and I are positioned for the purposes of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the right places at the right time. No weapon formed against us prosper and every tongue that rises against us shall be condemned. Words curses of others shall bear no fruit in our lives. They are returned immediately to the demonic source from where they came from, and we bless those who cursed us. We are free from all curses, for Jesus Christ became a curse for us at Calvary. Therefore we are abundantly supplied, divinely healthy, and fully restored. We are whole and thriving as a tree planted by the divine waters of life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We abide in the Lord Jesus Christ and are fruitful. We have a Joshua, a Caleb spirit, and see all things are possible for us. Because we believe, we go forward and possess the promised land by the power of your might. It is not by our might or by our power, but it is by your spirit. We see the heavenly gates open to us as we use the keys to the house of David and enter into the mansion of your holy presence in the throne room of your glory. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. All God's promises are yes and amen today and forever. When being attacked, I come to you, Lord, as my deliverer. You know all my problems, all the things that torment, defile, and harassment. I refuse to accept anything from Satan and loose myself from every dark spirit, from every evil spirit in me that is not of the Spirit of God. And I command all such spirit to leave me now. I confess that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, sanctified, justified by the blood of Jesus. Therefore Satan has no place in me and no power over me through the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I now renounce, break and loose myself, my spouse, and all our children from all generational demonic bondages, psychic powers, strongholds, bonds of physical or mental illnesses, or curses upon me or my family line as the result of sin, transgressions, iniquities, or cult or psychic involvement of myself, my parents, or any of my ancestors, my spouse, and any of all former spouses of their children or any of their ancestors. I thank you, Lord, for setting us free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I now rebuke, break, and loose myself and all our children from any and all evil curses, any charms, any vexes, any hexes, any jinks, any psychic powers, bewitchment, witchcraft, or sorcery that have been put upon me or my family line from any persons or persons or from any occult sources. Thank you, Jesus, for setting us free. I forbid Satan, demons, witches, and other cohorts from harassing or embarrassing me and the ministry God has given me. 
I forbid them from attempting to smear or discredit so as to discourage others who will receive benefit from my ministry. I am not ignorant of the tricks of the devil and strategies. I now command you to stop your operations, that all your psychic command, incantations, prayers, and desires against my ministry be turned back upon those who sent them out in Jesus' name. I command you to retreat and flee in defeat this very moment. I also command that the mouths of all that help spread lies against this ministry be stopped. The Lord rebuke you and all will help you in Jesus' name. I renounce and repent for my ancestors and myself for conceiving Satan's evil seed, mischiefs, trouble, and the preparation of deception, which birthed iniquity and evil intent in our generational line. Lord, please remove and seal the access the enemy gained in the womb to take us to into ungodly heavenly places. Lord, please remove and restore to me by the blood of Jesus any elemental part of me, including my inheritance and birthright that is trapped in the second heaven or other heavenly places. Lord, please close the ungodly doors to the second heaven. I repent for myself and all those in my family line who rely upon the natural wisdom of men and rejected the Spirit of God. I choose to rely on the precept of truth and the Spirit of God to give me the mind of Christ to direct my mind on the righteous path. I reject the wisdom of men and I repent for the pride in my family line that saw the wisdom of God as foolishness. I declare that I will be born of the Spirit and of water through Jesus Christ who calls me justify and glorifies me. I declare His truth was established before the foundation of the earth and before the elemental spirits were created. I claim my spiritual birthright of being conceived in love, of being given the Spirit of God who reveals wisdom to me, spiritual eyes in my heart to see the riches of His glorious inheritance. I claim that I am being formed in the image of His glorious Son. I reject the seed of Satan and I reject my position as a child of the father of lies and murder. I ask you, Abba Father, to close the eyes that were open when Adam and Eve partook of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I renounce and reject any ungodly rights or authority that were given to the soul to direct my mind along ungodly pathways. I agree with God's original plan that all spiritual wisdom of good and evil originates from God's throne and is revealed to my spirit. I agree that the Holy Spirit has permission to direct my spirit and to lead my soul and body. I receive the seed of the Holy Spirit into my spirit, by which power I cry, Abba, Father. Lord, on behalf of myself and my family line, I repent for questioning God's words and therefore inviting the influence of Leviathan, the king of pride, into my life. Lord, I choose to be directed by your commandments so that you might enlarge my heart. I declare that my Redeemer lives, and while I am yet alive, I will seek God for myself with my own eyes. I declare that my hope is in you my Redeemer. I ask you now to restore the ancient pathway to me and shine your light on me so that I can see you with my eyes. I ask you to restore my stolen birthright back to me, my glory and my crown. Father, I thank you that before you formed me in my mother's womb, you had predetermined my birthright, the path of glory in which I should walk. On behalf of myself and my generational line, I repent for any renounce rejecting the truth that you formed my inmost being and you wrote all the days preordained for me in your book before they came to be. Father, on behalf of myself and my generational line, I repent for all and renounce rejecting the ancient path that you have chosen for me to walk in. Father, on behalf of myself and my generational line, I repent for and renounce listening to and aligning my thinking with the wicked. Lord, I reject them in their pursuit of bloodlust. Father, I declare that I am fearfully and wonderfully made and that you will lead me in the way everlasting. I declare that all your works are wonderful. Lord, I agree with your word, which says that the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. I choose to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and I choose to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Lord, would you release the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit to restore to me the path of holiness. Lord, please cause your perfect love to run through my entire being, casting out all fear. I ask the Lord to repair or replace any part of my brain 
or neural pathway required to establish attachment with my heavenly Father and fellow men. Lord, would you cause me to dwell in the secret place of the Most High? I declare my birthright is to walk with Abba Father in the garden where I hear his voice and enjoy intimate fellowship with him. Jesus Christ appropriated this intimacy for me when he ripped the veil in the Holy of Holies. I pray this prayer tonight in the name of my Lord Jesus. To God be all the glory. Amen.